You've spoken of no significant pro-Kim faction amongst the fans as being telling. Um, oh, that was before. That was before he went. Yeah. When the board met, we assessed, well, we assessed where we thought we were with regard to fans. And we felt that the fans split into, and the fans are the everything. I mean, the fans, the fans are the future of this club. I mean, what, by the way, this is nothing to do with David Taylor. This is to do with the, football of working, the future of working football club. And, and, and all of my considerations has been about that. And at the board meeting on the Wednesday morning, when we had a, the, the, the morning after the Lewis game, we had um, our usual open, full, frank uh, discussion, as we do with each other. And ultimately, we said, we think the fans are splitting into two, with a few others. Half of them, around about half of them, were saying, give Kim longer, give him more of an opportunity. And probably half, maybe slightly more, some directors thought, were saying, get rid of him now. We hadn't really sensed a huge number or a significant minority even of, yes, Kim's the right person. I think I realised that I'd possibly made a mistake three matches before Lewis. And bear in mind, it's not just seven games. As I say, we've had all the pre-season. You know, Kim and I spoke half a dozen times a day. I would be down here at the club almost every day. We would meet, you know, so, so there's, there's, there's the whole picture. Um, however, the, however, the as soon, is, sorry, however, as soon as Kim went, um, a pro-Kim pro faction um, appeared. A small one, but fair enough. My point was that, that he wasn't here for a significantly long enough time for the fans to sort of get to know him and, and you know, have that loyalty towards him. Yes, he him. was. Phil Gilbert, also, yes, this, he was. This is a, this is a football club um, and not the X Factor and, and presumably... Uh, you know, the board should be making decisions uh, on the merit of the individual and not how popular he is. I've always said that this football club, Bruce, is a balance between being a family club and being an ambitious club to go into the Football League. And I would say that, that it got out of tilter. It got out of whatever the word is. It, it just got out of sync, out of balance. And we became almost... Um, yeah, the family, the family club, the, the, the sort of relationship side started to reduce, unfortunately. Um, Yes, it's not the X factor, but Phil Gilchrist managed to win the respect of fans. Phil Gilchrist managed to win the respect of staff. Phil Gilchrist managed to win the respect of volunteers uh, uh, and directors. It doesn't take long. And unfortunately, Sam, not a, please, if anyone in this interview thinks I'm, I'm putting the knife in Kim, it's me. Put the knife in me. I'm putting the knife in myself. I hadn't spotted that. I just didn't spot that. Um, and um, you can build rapport with people very, very fast. And I think that um, even... Even though rapport aside, even though X Factor comment aside, if, if we'd won a game of football, if I could have seen that progression on and off the pitch that we started seeing in that brilliant performance at Torquay, and remember, as these performances were going on, the promises were almost just the same. Not from me. They were, they were getting bigger from, from, from Kim. And if I'd seen that, I would have, you know, we would have kept going. But we didn't. And... The pressure from fans at that time, and I'm talking about real fans, I'm not talking about people who used to work at the club, who have an axe to grind, I'm not talking about people who don't come to matches, I'm talking about the real fans and what they were coming up to me in matches and saying. I stood behind the goal at Kettering and I got the absolute opinion of the fans who travel to, you know, to away matches. And we had to do something and we had to do something soon because how many games do you give it? Do you give it, do you give it 10 games? Do you give it 12 games? People said, you know, it's a very short time into the season. Make no mistake, Bruce, at the moment, we're second bottom in this league. We've played eight games. We need to win a game of football soon. And I had to do the right thing for this club to decide to whether, whether we were going to win a game of football. And we as a board had to have that as our priority.